I just continue. What I was saying, alternately we are getting. See, this is the center. Again, I remind you. B stands for bright, D stands for dark. Now, you figure it out. Now, visualize it. How will the figure be? Okay, how will the figure be? This is the center of B0, 0 at bright. Then, it is the first bright, this is the second bright. Here also, first bright, second bright. Because I told you that the fringes will be formed in the upper side as well as in the lower side. Because waves can propagate in any direction. And in between, this is D1, this is D2, D3. First dark, second dark, third dark. First dark, second dark, third dark. Okay. And in between, how to find out the wave? That means, can we say that, can I write here, distance. This, I write here, distance between two consecutive consecutive bright fringe fringes gives the width of a dark fringe that is that is yeah x1 minus x0 x2 minus x1 x3 minus x2 dot 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 xm minus xn minus 1 and all will be equal to lambda capital D by small look at this what we are getting distance between two consecutive distance between two consecutive bright is giving the width of a dark how much it is like this so, up can you it? Similarly, you can write similarly. Similarly, distance between two consecutive dark fringe. You can write similarly, distance between two consecutive dark fringe gives the width of a bright fringe. Ulta gives the width of a bright fringe. That means what? X1 dash minus X0 dash x2 dash minus x1 dash and so on xn dash minus xn minus 1 dash that also come out to be lambda capital D by small d look at this shall we get that means what we see whether it is a dark fringe or it is a bright fringe all the fringes are of the equal weight. Whether the dark fringe or bright fringe, all the fringes are of the equal weight. This is why, this is why, what we can say, all the fringes are of the equal weight. Is come up with my California language. Agar sabhi fringes equal weight ka ho, ya hoga, to kya likhaya? Hence, fringe, Weed. Hmm. Beta is equal to lambda capital D by small d. All the fringes are the equal width. And what is the fringe width? This is the fringe width. All the fringes in the interference are of the equal width and of this. Beta is equal to lambda capital D by small d. Definitely the value of beta will be small because Lambda is associated. Lambda is a very small quantity. I hope you all remember. Lambda is a very small quantity. It is always in the form of the uh, angstrom that is 10 to the power minus 10. So, what happens? The factor is small. That's why fringe width is generally in the order of millimeters. Now, some important points can be noted. Let us discuss some important points. Some important points can be noted which are like this. Number one. First point. For uh, lambda and small d to be constant, beta is directly proportional to capital D. And number two, 
for lambda at capital D to be constant, beta should be inversely proportional to small d. Be careful on these generally short questions may be asked. That means if a if any pattern right if any pattern here what we say in a pattern suppose uh, lambda and small d are constant right then beta will be directly proportional to capital D. Beta value barta jayega agar capital D ka value bhi barta jayega value of beta will go on increasing if capital D will be go on increasing whereas if lambda and capital D are constant then beta will be inversely proportional to small d if small d will be increasing beta will be decreasing fringe width will be decreasing all right that is then the number three suppose there is a screen on this screen, there is a fringe whose width is beta, as I told you, and its a distance here is capital D. Okay, then if I join this, what is this theta? Theta is actually called the angular width of the fringe. Understand? I write here angular width of the fringe angular width of the fringe is what theta theta should be equal to tan theta for small angle it's a small angle obviously as i told you beta is very very thin very very small so theta will also be very small and for that what will happen theta is equal to tan theta and tan theta only say kya hoga beta by capital d beta by capital D. What is this? Is it equal to lambda by small d? Very important point to be added. Theta is equal to lambda by small d. Minus. It's an important point. Theta. Angular width of a fringe. Linear width of the fringe kya hai? Beta. Or angular width of the fringe kya hai? Yeah. Lambda by t. Theta. It is this. Okay. Then come to the fourth point. I I just give you one uh, situation here. If this whole pattern or if this whole setup, not pattern, setup, if the whole setup of the interference experiment, if this whole setup of the interference ex experiment is taken inside a liquid or inside a medium of refractive index mu try to follow me a very important condition the condition is the condition is if the whole experimental setup i repeat if the whole experimental setup is taken inside a medium of refractive index mu right then how the fringe width is affected how beta is affected okay so I can write beta is equal to lambda capital D by small d where in here beta is equal to lambda capital D by small d that is in here and suppose if it is taken inside a medium of refractive index mu then what will happen suppose it is beta dash then lambda dash capital D by small d where in the medium obviously you will say why only lambda is changing because experimental setup is same so distances will be all the same this distance d capital d small d will be all the same what is only changing due to the medium okay wavelength changes i think you all are remembering when i have started optics i have told you due to the change in the medium frequency does not change but speed and the wavelength of the wave always changes. That's why it will change. So lambda dash. So what we can say? Beta dash by beta is equal to lambda dash by lambda. Let us take this equation number one. 
ओके नाउ नाउ स्पीड ऑफ लाइट वेव इन वैक्यूम एंड इन द मीडियम आर वैक्यूम में और मीडियम में क्या होगा C इज इक्वल टू लैमडा इंटू न्यू एंड V इज इक्वल टू हियर इट इज लैमडा डैश इंटू न्यू माइक दिस दिस इज इन वैक्यूम फर्स्ट वन इज वैक्यूम ठीक है सेकेंड वन इज इन द मीडियम देन कैन आई से हियर वॉट इट विल बी लैमडा डैश बाई लैमडा इज इक्वल टू वी बाई सी V by C, all right. So I write here equation number two. Equation number two by equations one and two we get by equations one and two we get what beta dash by beta is equal to V by C. Is it equal to one by mu? Do you understand? Because you know refractive index is equal to c by b, velocity or speed of light in vacuum by speed of light in the medium. That's why what is beta dash? It is equal to beta by b. A very important relation we are getting. Look, if it is immersed or if it is taken inside a medium of refractive index mu, then what will happen? Fringe width will. Decrease mu times mu is always greater than one, so fringe width will decrease. Very important condition, very important case, important case. Look, this we are getting. Is it all right? Yes. I think it is fine. All of you have got it. In the next lecture, we are concluding this. Okay.